idea. Shen, you want to tell me what the hell's going on here? No. No. No, because no, I got a phone call from an anonymous tip telling me there's more to you than is to you. <laughs> it made me curious, so I investigated, and that's why I'm here tonight at your apartment, because there's more to you than there is to you. Really? That's quite interesting. Yeah. Tell me, can I get you a drink? No, you can't get me a drink. You oh. see, my, my other brother told me when serving a house guest, a house guest, it's always best to. It was like being annually raped by a cactus. <laughs> That's what she told me when serving a house guest. It's like that. Was well, uh, her house guest a serial rapist? <laughs> you know, I never asked her. It was just a little weird. So, officer. Yes. What are you really doing here? What am I really doing? What are you doing here? Well, I told you, I got this anonymous phone call, and honestly, it's a college town. It's a little suspicious, and that got me thinking. It is exactly what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I guess that keg is, you know, a bit of an obvious sign. It is. It's rather obvious. I'm sorry, son. Do you have ID? ID? Well, I'll tell you what I do have. Look out for tiny stop signs. Because you guys have pulled me over like 50 times for those. Those things are damn small. How am I supposed to stop when those things are tiny? Can't even see it. I see you. <laughs> Yeah, well... Yeah, I hide in the stop signs. <laughs> Who's the gorilla? <laughs> that gorilla is my partner, and first off, that's a racist term I have, you know. <laughs> and we do not stand for that at the police academy. Is that, is that where you went? The police academy? Yeah, P-O-Lease. Well, listen, you can't barge into people's apartments, okay? <laughs> I'm actually sorry to uh, disapprove of you, sir. You're barging in here. I'm, a, I'm an officer of the law. I didn't like you in. I didn't let you in. in. Did you read my badge? You know what it says? What does it say? When what are we say? leaving? I need time to shave my tits. <laughs> <laughs> that is the motto of the police. Right there, in silver and bronze. It does say, there's some fine print to that, though. It says, there's some more. why won't you touch me anymore? <laughs> <laughs> it's because you have hairy tits, is that why? No, it's because you got the hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting well, off topic. Well, I want to know what well, the hell you're doing in you've here. You've got a pretty mouth. <laughs> Whoa. I know we're up north, but we ain't that far up north, son. Sorry. It's not like we're... <laughs> it's not like I have the shits or anything. <laughs> if you did, I'd, I'd let you use my bathroom, but you can't because we're doing stuff. Really? What kind of stuff? Stuff, stuff? Stuff like... Suck a dick, Jordan. <laughs> you know, it's strange because I've heard of this game before. It's crazy, right? It's one of the weirdest drinking games I've ever heard of. I know. I, wait, who thought it was a drinking game? Excuse me. I'm, I'm, an, I'm a cop in a college town. You just understand these kind of things. I'm so, actually, have you played the new game, Who's Your Daddy? <laughs> I mean, I've heard of that one before. How does it work? Well, you see, rule number one is I've got ten fingers. That means. Nice <laughs> sleazies, and I got shorty. That's rule number one. Alright, what's rule number two? Rule number two is I want to eat a blue waffle. Oh <laughs> you seem to know what that is. I have no idea what that is. Honestly, I, I just read Is it anything like, can you teach me how to do the dungeon? <laughs> That's actually rule number 17. Oh, okay. But number three, I believe, is. You're the shit like some stool. Oh, thank you, man. That's pretty. You know, it's, this is a pretty ball and party with all It's a pretty alcohol. ball and party, and I gotta say, between the two of us, our grandma is just terrible. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, at times, I wonder who taught us how to speak like this. <laughs> so, you want me to come in the party? You're really inviting me? Because I haven't been to one of these, I'm gonna be honest. Do you promise not to arrest me? Because the last time I invited a cop in, he just said, hop off my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that was an officer of law. That might have been a prostitute. <laughs> I get those confused all the time. It's a uh, shock, man. Well, you know what the model is at the police academy? Not the one that's on my badge. That's a, that's a totally different, you know, thing. Motto, yes. Yeah, I know. you I know. got yeah, it. Yeah, multiple mottos. Otherwise, people get confused. This is our motto what? at the police academy. Tell me your motto. Whatever tickles your pickle. <laughs> <laughs> but what really tickled my pickle would be if you came and you got drunk with me. You know what? It hurts so good. It does. <laughs>